Yo, what's going on? This is Council Poly Rob. Welcome once again with another update. Thank you for showing love to my channel or all the videos, leaving the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notifications so you can get all the exclusive, you know, videos and edits and all the dope stuff that I do on my channel. Listen, I don't talk about sports often. I'm going to be honest. I don't talk about sports often because it's not my thing. But when I watch this game today, Lakers versus Wizards, and I seen Anthony Davis go crazy. Anthony Davis scored 55, 17 rebounds, five blocks. Yo, this is the Anthony Davis that we all wanted to see. You know what I'm saying? When they won a championship like two, three years ago or whatnot, that was cool. But he beasting in the paint right now. I think he must have got, you know, some a, a phone call from Shaq or something. Because he playing in the paint and he going stupid. You know what I'm saying? This is what the Lakers have been wanting from him for years. And I understand he's been injured. You know what I'm saying? He's really injury prone. And I get it. But if this is how you come back, Anthony Davis, I appreciate that. Now, I'm a LeBron fan. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm not necessarily a Lakers fan. I'm a LeBron fan. So where LeBron go, I go. Where LeBron go, I go. So if you want to call me a bandwagon jumper, that is fine. That is okay. I'm a person that in sports, it's not necessarily always about the team. It's about certain players that I identify with. You know what I'm saying? Whether they're from, their hardships, they road to stardom, stuff like that. I identify with things like that. And, you know, just how they play how they play on the court. So I'm a LeBron fan. So I'm a Laker fan for now. For now, I'm a Laker fan. And, yo, what Anthony Davis did, that's what we want to see every single night. And I want to give a shout-out to the rest of the team, too, because, you know, like Russell Westbrook, you know what I'm saying, uh, Reeves, like – they really, their the chemistry is coming together. The chemistry is really, really coming together, and I, and I also salute LeBron for letting them do their thing. Like they, he's letting the other players get their shit off. You know what I'm saying? He's letting the other players do, you know, uh, take it to the rack, shoot those threes, those jumpers. Like he, he letting, he's letting the team become the team. He don't always have to come in and be the closer or feel like he got to. He ain't got to hit that step back three all day. He ain't got to do that. He ain't got to do that. He's actually facilitating, letting other people facilitate, let him run the floor. And then the bottom line is Anthony Davis. If there's an opportunity to get Anthony Davis in the paint, he in the paint. Give him the ball. Yo, this game was phenomenal. If you ain't watched it, I suggest you, you know, get an on-demand replay wherever you watch your games and watch this game because you can clearly see that if Anthony Davis want to be dominant and be the MVP, he can really do it. You know what I'm saying? With all the uh, uh, injuries aside, if he wants to be the MVP, he going to do it. And when I tell you, like, you know, sometimes when people score 55, like James Harden scoring 55 or 50 or something like that, certain players, when they score 50, it look like, it's a, it look it, it looked extra amazing because of the level of difficulty that they got to go through to make the shots or to make the threes or whatever. This particular game, it looked like Anthony Davis was a big kid just walking on all little kids. He literally, like, grabbing rebounds, dunking on them, putting backs, putbacks, alley-oops, you know what I'm saying, blocking shots. Like, he looked like he was bullying the whole team. You see the clip where he dunked on two people and he hung on the rim a little bit. And, ah, he was going crazy. Yo, Anthony Davis, this is the type of play we want. And, I, and I'm going to keep it a buck. No disrespect to Dwight Howard, but that, that year when he was with Kobe, this is what Kobe wanted Dwight Howard to do that year. Go beast mode like how, you, like how Anthony Davis just did. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, hey, all I know is that the NBA is going to be talking about 
big men and how big men need to control the paint. And Anthony Davis is a prime example of that. This 55 point performance, salute to you. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Cause I'm gonna tell you, I live in LA. So if they happen to get to the championship and they win it, yo, that LA parade, different. That L.A. parade is different. The whole streets is crazy. For the next month, all the restaurants and bars showing love. It's different. We are with L.A. win the championship. Life is great. So, Anthony Davis, keep doing your thing, man. And hopefully, y'all take this time to kind of mesh as much as y'all possibly can. And hopefully, we can see y'all in the playoffs doing something ill. You know what I'm saying? Until then... You know, I'm going to keep watching the games. I'm going to keep supporting LeBron and company. Oh, I'm sorry, Lakers. Lakers. I'm going to keep supporting the Lakers. My bad. Don't beat me up, y'all. Don't beat me up in the comments, y'all. But what y'all feel? What do y'all feel? Do y'all feel like Anthony Davis' performance was legendary? Do y'all feel like this is what we need to see more of? Or do you feel like Anthony Davis needs need to do something different or the team needs to go in a different direction? Man, let me know in the comments. I'm definitely here to talk about it. You know what I mean? And then, you know, all y'all Laker fans, I want to talk to y'all. So, man, salute to Anthony Davis. A great game, you know what I'm saying? And let's see what else you do for the rest of the season. You know what I mean? I'm out of here, man. Work on it.